Hello, this is Katherine Roberts of www.yourartimage.com with a quick marketing tip for artists in five minutes or less. Today I want to talk about websites, or more specifically, the real purpose of your website. I speak to so many artists who are disappointed with the fact that they don't make sales from their website, and they're often really surprised when I say, that's okay, don't worry about it. Sales aren't the most important job of your website. But don't get me wrong, sales are critical to every business, but a website has a much, much more important job to do. So here's what I mean. Unless you're a business like Argos or Maplin selling a generic product that consumers can find in a million different stores, then the real purpose of a website isn't to get money out of people's pockets. The real purpose of an artist's website, or that of any small business for that matter, is to begin building relationship. When someone visits your website for the first time, you have less than a minute to capture their attention. From a marketing point of view, there are just two things to accomplish during that first brief encounter. So what are they? The first is to grab their interest. Obviously, as an artist, the best way to do that is by showing great examples of your artwork, really well photographed. The second thing you want to do is get the visitor to join your mailing list. That's usually done by offering something, a newsletter or a screensaver, um, for example, in exchange for them entering their email and name into an opt-in form on your website. I've recorded an entire quick marketing tip about why this is so important, so I'm not going to go into that in more depth here. Just search email opt-in or mailing list on my video blog or YouTube channel and it should come up. But that's it, two priorities. Capture their attention by showing your art and get their details. So after those two are covered, here are the next three most important aspects of your website. We're assuming that the art on the home page of your website has got their attention and that they're now ready to engage with you. Engage. Um, you need to make it very easy for them to do the following three things first and foremost. One, see more of your art. It's usually done in easy to use photo galleries or logical groupings of style or subject matter. Two, they need to meet you. In other words, learn about you as a person and your artistic inspiration or process. And you can do that with either text on an about page or with videos showing you in your studio or just engaging like we are right now, face to face, talking. And three is contact you. They need to be able to contact you for more information. Um, again, more importantly, better if you can contact them, um, but they need to be able to find an email address, um, phone number, a way to get in touch with you should they want to make a purchase or have more questions. Anyway, as you can see, nowhere in those lists of top priorities do I suggest that you ask for or make a sale. Before you can expect to do that, you need to build a relationship with a prospective client. Once you have a list of clients with whom you have built relationships or entered into a dialogue with through your website, emails, newsle newsletters, or face-to-face -face contact, then you can expect to make sales from your website. That's it for this quick marketing tip for artists. I hope you found it valuable. Please leave a comment or share it with others. Until next time, this is Katherine Roberts from YourArtImage.com wishing you success in all your creative pursuits.